think I've had videos and not gotten them in the stream yet. Maybe after this comment, I'll get it. I wonder how they work. Are they just appearing haphazardly? No, so I have my ads turned right down. So there is one. Th if, if you're not subscribed, typically, if you're not subscribed, you should get one ad every hour, one 30 second ad every hour. Um, I, I turn my ads like right down. Um, but um, I don't know if you're running any like, ad block or anything. Curious. That doesn't make me feel better if I'm honest, LB. So this is where we messed up last time. And now we've done that, we can move this one. Before we do anything else, let's think about what we're doing here.
this is where we got to before. This, all this needs to do is open this, right? All that needs to do is that. Hallelujah. Everything you see around you is Athena. Her hopes and fears superimposed onto the landscape of our island. And hidden behind the most difficult trials is precisely the device I need access to. Y you see, I don't think it's a coincidence that her mind picked Pandora as one of its avatars. On some level, she knows I might be right. But... Grief is something we cling to. We get used to it. We start being afraid of letting it go because what if we try and we're disappointed? That seems too much to take, so we put up walls around the very idea of trying. That's why she picked Pandora. That's why she hid this all away. Because left at the bottom of that box was hope. Yeah, I think that just goes to uh, goes back to LB's comment, um, Sears, that the fact that there was multiple different solutions for this. I was so close before, though. I just messed it up with that red connector. I lost my red connection. So yeah, I could have solved that like a lot quicker than I actually did. All right, the final one. West three high plane. Let's go. Probably the, I would say that's probably the hardest that we've done so far. It's a close tie between that one and the one that we had to um, block the laser with our body. All right, last one, wind stream. Here we go.
think I see what we're doing here. sort of thing we need to do. Um, oh, okay. send you the coordinates in case you don't already have them. I have one last task for you. One last task. It's almost reminiscent of like a puzzle. I don't know if it was in this area or not. I think it was where it was pretty much the same sort of thing. You had to kind of put the connection from the fan and let it um, move across. We missed a load of social media posts. I guess we have. In addition to the previously announced new scouting and scavenging expeditions and the reactivation of the abandoned mining and factory projects, Mayor Byron has asked citizens to submit ideas for other possible undertakings which are to be discussed at the next public assembly. I yearn for a city that does not exist yet. It is a wealthy city, abundant, prosperous, full of life and energy. But its prosperity is not like that of the cities of old, a thin, gilded layer over a cesspool of misery. No, its riches are deep. They permeate its every street and fill it with deep depth and texture. It's a city of delights, of secrets, of surprises, always growing, always changing. It's every, it's every citizen partaking of its joys as well as its tragedies. I do not think... This is the last city, the one where our journey will end. I think it is the first. There is a tale waiting for me. I see it on the horizon, and every day it grows closer. It has been a companion on my journey, but I fear the day I will reach it, for I have loved this road and the fields and the hills it has shown me. But the tower awaits, and from its heights I will behold the valley of the Lord. This is a lot that cannot be expressed otherwise. Thank you. Beautiful work. Hmm. I think the pest. I didn't read that. To be honest, I feel the same, but when that's. But then that's the point. If it could be expressed in an essay, it should be an essay, not a poem. I don't get it. And I sort of wish I did. But poetry always leaves me confused. It's about the journey. It's about the journey and the fact that the, the tower has led them on this journey. And they've seen so much because of the tower. That's pretty common, Pegorino, and nothing to be ashamed of. We're often taught to treat poetry like a secret message which only some people can decipher. But poetry is really a kind of music. It's not intellectual pursuit, not something to be analysed and dissected. It needs to be felt, to be spoken, to be sung. 
do find the melody in the words, you will understand it. I think pessimism is completely out of date. I think it's a romantic indulgence. I don't think anyone can afford to be pessimistic anymore. I mean, there's so much that can go wrong. Optimism is the only thing possible anymore. I've always thought that an optimist was a person who knew exactly how sad a place the world could be, and a pessimist is a man who finds out a new every morning. That's the real difference. No, I'm obviously optimistic because you simply have to be. It's an obligation to be optimistic. Peter Ustinov, co-star of the Talos Principle, 1961. To me, this sounds exactly like Alexander Drennan would have believed. Like what Alexander Drennan would have believed. That's why I ultimately decided to support Byron. I think he understands how sad the world is, but also remains optimistic. He will be disappointed. People always disappoint you in the end. You've misunderstood the entire point of the quotation, Ovis. That, that disappointment is already baked into the concept, concept of optimism. Optimism is knowing people like you exist, but having hope anyway. Ouch. True though. I was right. I knew it. It is aliens. Take that, everyone who doubted me. It's freaking aliens. It has to be. It may be aliens, but it's so far away from that. It isn't going to be... Ma but it's so far away that it isn't going to be a matter for several billion years, if it ever does. Nevertheless, I knew it would be aliens eventually, and I was right. For a very broad definition of right, let him have it. Yeah, I don't think you're going to change his mind. Just let him have it. Let him have his moment of glory. Oh wow, I've completely neglected them. Then. My bad. Sorry, guys. All right. The mega structure. The time Cornelius got a secret area locked away behind his golden gate. I guess that makes sense that it was the one after I turned in all the stars, having seen the little space um, thing. Well, I guess my graphic settings didn't completely um, update because this area is still quite barren. There he is. There he is. Wait, is this where they... Oh, I'm not going to smash just yet. Thank you for coming, 1K. You've done a lot for my family and I appreciate it. We're almost there. But we'll have to work together to save Miranda. I'm glad we can disagree and still be on the same team. That seems to be a rare attitude these days. You need to enter the liminal space between Athena's mind and the machine. The bridge between thought and action. There, you have to find the part of the process where Miranda's pattern still exists, where it's been trapped since the moment her physical body was destroyed while she was logged into the machine. A dream quest, if you will. And I have to stay out here, guiding you and making sure your own pattern stays intact. It's not impossible that I'm wrong. The machine has been upgraded more than once since the day she died and Athena's dreams have affected it in unpredictable ways. If that's the case, uh, I don't know. Then maybe it's over. But I don't think that I'm wrong. All right. Let's do it. Let's enter the device. Free Miranda. Your view glitched into the ground under the bed. <laughs> You're in. So far, so good. Look for a visual representation of Miranda. Oh. Ugh. 
this are spooky. This are very spooky. I think you're getting closer. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Of course I went the wrong way. This is a really cool area and all, but some light would be nice. And obviously there's no going back. That's it. That's her. Just make contact and I can pull you both out. Miranda! I've been so lost. I heard my mother's voice, but she couldn't hear mine. I know I made a mistake, but I couldn't apologize. I screamed and screamed and screamed, and then I was dead. This place is confusing. Did my father send you? Miranda? Please talk to me. Are you okay? Did it work? Father? I... I I'm okay. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. I'll never be able to repay what you did for me, my friend. No adequate words exist in any language on earth that could explain what this means to me. The greatest miracle of our existence, 1K. The miracle that so many of our ancestors couldn't have imagined is that we are capable of love. That love isn't a chemical delusion experienced by mammals, but a fundamental property of sentience. To be sentient, to exist in the first person, is to be alone, to be separate. But all of us, even machines, are always reaching for transcendence. And the only place we can find it is in each other. There was an ancient poet who put it best, I think. We must love one another or die. I still have limited access to the Noema system. Do you remember that body replication technology you encountered in the puzzles? It's the original version of that. Once you get deep enough, you'll see the singularity, but don't let that distract you. The closer you get to Athena, the deeper inside her dream you will be. With the powers at her command, space and time may not behave in the way you expect them to. Still, underneath all of it, there will be a logic. Try to discover it. Will be a logic, or there will be logic. That's not for me to decide. But here's what I've come to believe. All of Athena's fears are legitimate. So are all of her hopes. And the only way 
of ever really overcoming that contradiction is faith. That faith can't be forced and it can't be bought. We must choose to believe that our strange, long journey through the cosmos matters, not to some external force, but to us. We have defied death. Five minutes to admit something. For a while now, I've kept up the charade of being opposed to everything Byron stands for and to what Athena evidently stood for long ago, all along. Sorry. I didn't just do this believe because believing in humanity is hard. I also did it because, to be frank, in my circles, taking this position is socially expected. It's mandated, but Miranda's resurrection has changed something inside of me. I think it's fair to say that I've been a coward. I've cared far more for being for being seen believing the right things and that about standing up for what I think is actually true. And the more I perform this persona, the more intensely I preach the gospel of guilt and ascentism, and the more hollow I got inside, the less I really believed in anything. I could be a better person. I want to be a better person. So I'll tell you the truth now. We should embrace the theory of everything. Even if we risk destroying ourselves, we should absolutely not do what our ancestors did. We should not put profit over reason or human need, but we should grow. And no, frogs are not people. And yes, humans matter after matter more than frogs. And I just don't care about these stupid, tedious debates anymore. That's what he said. Did I say thank you for saving me? You did not. Sorry if I didn't. It was all very strange. I thought I might be hallucinating. All I remember is the light. For a moment, I could see something incredible, and then... then it destroyed me. Very well. Alarmed and embarrassed by all the upset I've caused, but otherwise well. Thank you. But I should have known better. That's the truth, and I have to learn to live with it. I do, yes. But I also see how terrifying the universe can be. How cold and uncaring. It's something I still need to think about. I'm obviously not going to say that there are no dangers. I'm a case study for how smugness and self-importance can lead to tragedy. But you can do better than that. And I can do better than that too. Thanks to you. I need to run a full systems diagnostic to make sure I'm not going to... explode or something. I'm not taking any chances, not again. After that, I'll try to see if there's any way of reaching Mother from here. But I suspect that you're the only one who can reach her now. You're part of her dream. I need to go. Let me just say thank you one last time. Thank you for helping Father save me, and thank you for coming back to the island to save Mother. Yeah, I think Prophyrus just touched on that, the, the music. All right, guys, the time has come. It is time to enter the megastructure for one final journey as we head in to save Athena from her dream. Let's go. I think what you accomplished by helping Cornelia save Miranda proves everything I've been saying. Happiness and meaning are things we can only find in each other. I'm proud of you for having restored these things to Cornelius. And I think we can restore them to Athena as well. What do I think will happen now? End of the game. We're not going to find out what happens to Athena. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, the gut tells me we're going to go in there um, 
but we're not going to be able to save Athena for some reason. I don't know why, but I think it's going to be more complicated than just simply going in and, and saving her from a dream, but we'll see. I don't agree with Byron on a lot of issues, but I don't think he's going to be a disaster. He's a good leader, smart and caring. In time, he'll tone down some of his more extravagant ideas. If we can prevent him from getting access to the theory of everything, that is. Otherwise, he might do something uh, rash. I think instead of technological progress, we'll have artistic and spiritual progress. Our culture will become deeper and more complex as we learn to accept our place on this planet. We'll have to adjust our expectations at first, but I think in the long run we'll find... Uh, serenity. No, I... Uh, I don't think so. He is a good man, dedicated to his loved ones. I admire him greatly. I hope so. I really do. But to be honest, I'm not sure. We've been through so much together, but this... No matter what he says, he will see our actions as a betrayal. I should go. Well, isn't Alcatraz going to fly me the v fly the veto for me? Time to go. It's no, been a long gonna... journey, <clears throat> but soon it's, it's we'll finally be able to go credits. home. And this time, we'll bring Athena with us. Will we, though, Alcatraz? Will we? actually kind of like almost reminiscent of like Final Fantasy soundtrack. It's just got that whole kind of like the big brass instruments in it. Because Final Fantasy's got some, some of the games got some real banging soundtracks. But yeah, it's really setting the tone, isn't it? driving the fire, yeah? that, that's the end of the game, right? The singularity. We have to stop this one, Kay. Yep. I'll do what I can to help you, but I suspect it's up to you now, 1K. Alcatraz didn't have a backpack on before, did he? 
All right. New objective. Blow up the sun. Let's go. Central of the megastructure is powered by lava and the gas giant. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's the final puzzles. Use me. What is this? I'm missing a connector. Is this Stanley Parable? As Stanley walked through the door, he chose the right path. Then Stanley decided he didn't like the look of the right path, so he chose the left path. Solve Utopia puzzles. Expected. Uh, I can't say that I do, but it's from New Jerusalem, isn't it? I'll say that I do, and then I go and say, but actually, it's from this, isn't it? Although it sounds like a bit of a remixed version of New Jerusalem. 
่สองสองดิสโตเปียพัซซ์สโอเคสรุปเราทำอย่างนั้นเพราะฉันไม่ได้ลองทำมันเลยอ
too deep for me. the future of this planet all the things that we will see if we choose not to act going on here. We need a... So, that will give us blue, so I think we can then go and use the Witcherua here. I need to go and uh, you go and reset that. A little bit on the frustrating side, but um, there's things Team Spend mentioned there. It doesn't kind of carry over. to worry. I do quite like this idea though of like having to like think across two different puzzles. It's an interesting concept. The continents will move, the mountains will fade away, even the stars will change. The days will grow longer as the rotation of the Earth slows. There's, there's multiple points here of entry into these puzzles, which is, again, interesting. Doppelganger. Blur here, though. Volcanoes and asteroids, earthquakes and floods. Slowly, day by day, the moon will drift away, and we will still be here.
Uh, we need to bring the doppelganger through here, so we need to... We need a... Um... I kind of feel like I've missed something. we can send the green through there of course so I guess we go back to Utopia and see if we can send the green through and see the blue that we are going to bring this and we'll swap this actually no we're going to need to do Can I send a red through here? Or a blue, actually. Blue might be better. Time being. I don't think I can. I'm definitely meant to have come from that side to open this one.
Definitely can't do anything over here. I'll send a green through there. Just fine. Here I need a connector. I'm going to go back a minute. Still not there, haven't we? it again. Yeah, it was a long shot. Did 
It was a long shot. That was the idea. Trying to hit that anyway. Hmm. Okay. Well. We are out of time, people. So it looks like um we are going to be heading back to this on Friday and wrapping this up on Friday. I did think that we might uh, get there tonight. Um, we hadn't have maybe taken uh, too much time on some of those Golden Gate puzzles, then we may have got there, but nope. We will come back to it on Friday night. And just to explain what I was trying to do, LB, I was trying to get the blue to come through here. Although that wouldn't really help me. Well, it would help me get that, but yeah. Okay. Things and stuff, stuff and things. Just messing about and trying different things. Uh, anyway, yeah, we'll be back on Friday. Friday could be the day. Oh. Hold on a minute. Hold on a moment. Clearly, I ain't done just yet. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop there. Years until every species has gone extinct or been uh, replaced. A hundred million until the rings of Saturn fall from the sky. 500 million until the sun starts getting brighter and everything on Earth starts dying. All right. I'm going to leave it there this time, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, yeah. Friday, Friday, Friday. Hopefully, we will get there and uh, finish the game on Friday. So, uh, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I really do appreciate it. And hopefully, I will see you on Friday when we wrap this up. But until then... I've been not keeping awesome. Take care, stay safe, have a great uh, rest of the week, and until next time, be gaming. Bye, guys.